Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about Swing. What is Swing? Swing is a toolkit for Java that will help us make a graphic user interface for our application. Likely when you started learning Java, or at least when I have started learning Java, this was the case, uh, I started by learning to make an application and all the input and all the output was directed to the console. That way when I learned the language I could focus more on the logic rather than making the application pretty. Well Swing will help us make our application pretty and actually make it so that other users will want to use the application. So before we get started one thing I want to point out is something called Swing Set 3. Now you could just uh, search this up on Google and it will likely be one of the first results to come up. I will also include it as a download link somewhere in the description of this video. Uh, what Swing Set 3 is, it's, it's kind of just a general overview of all the components, all the little things that Swing lets us add to our application. So it shows us everything from uh, the kinds of windows we can create, to how we can display data, to uh, ways we can take input such as buttons. And what's really neat about the Swing Set 3 is that if we want to see how something is done, something like we see here, there's a button, we want to see how we make that button in our application, we can just highlight the code, okay I want to create a simple button, and it will show us what's done. All the source for everything inside this uh, swing set 3 window is given to us which is great to use as a reference for when we start programming swing so let's get right to it and create our first <clears throat> our first Java swing application we are going to create a new Java project and project name will be swing tutorial there we go and hit finish Ta-da! Now we're going to create a new class. Let's call this main window. Okay. Now in order to make this main window into one of those fancy frames we saw earlier in the swing set, what we're going to do is we're going to make main window extend JFrame. Okay. And we're going to need to import JFrame. So we can just hover over it and click import and type in, or you could just type it in, uh, import javax.swing.jframe. For us, we're going to import all of it. Okay, And there we go. That's our main window class. Well, sort of. We're not done with it just yet. So let's create a new class. Uh, let's call this program start. And it's going to have a public static void main uh, string args method in it. So inside here, we need to create a new main window object. Now let's see, how do we do that? We go main window, uh, let's call it MW is equal to new main window. That should work, right? Okay, uh, hit play. Well, that didn't do anything. Is our program broken? No, it works fine. What we didn't do is we didn't have this main window uh, be set to visible. So how do we do that? Well. First, we should probably have a constructor in here. So let's go main window. Okay. Uh, does it do anything now? Uh, still no. So let's go this dot set visible true. So that means whenever a new main window object is created, it is going to be set itself to be visible. So we hit play, and what we have here is a very small main window, but this is our first main window uh, we've created. We can resize it and we can close it. Now let's make this a little bit more exciting, okay? How do we do that? Well we should start probably by giving this window a title. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna take a string as an argument for when we're constructing the main window object and we are going to do this dot set title 
and title. There we go. Easy enough, right? Now, this program broke. Okay, we need to give it a title. Uh, my first window title. Okay, does it work? Uh, there we go. We resize it. My first window title. It works. Let's make it a little bigger. So, let's go this. This is inside the main window class. It's going to set itself to have set minimum size. And what this takes is a dimension object. So, we're going to create a new one right here. New dimension. And we're actually going to need to import this from, I believe, Java. Yep, java.awt. So let's go ahead and import all of .awt. There we go. And how do we construct a dimension? Well, it takes two ints, which are pixel values. So let's go 300 by 300. Now let's go 300 by 350. There we go. That way it's a little, a little difference. OK, so we hit play. And there's our window. OK, so let's make it just slightly more exciting. Let's have this window uh, create a label within itself. So we're going to go glabel, oh, I can't spell label. Uh, my label is equal to new j uh, label. And I believe we can pass in a string here to say hello world. Now let's let's follow some better labeling uh, object naming conventions. Let's type in jlabel. Um, label. There we go. That seems better. Now we hit play, but we don't see our uh, label anywhere. So how do we make it so that the label we just created appears? Well, what's going to happen is this being uh, the main window that is created is going to add and as part of the add, it takes a component, and a JLabel just happens to be a component, or a subclass of component. And, oh, my bad. Uh, we're going to put that in there. There we go. So this dot add label first label. OK. And there we go. We have a hello world window, which we just created. So that would be our first tutorial covering swing and hopefully I'll be able to put out a few more covering some of the other uh, components and features that we can use uh, from swing alright thanks for watching